right guys hey welcome back to the channel uh today we are going to be doing some exhaust work on jason's 48 chevy truck uh jason tell us a little bit about this thing man uh it's 48 chevy it's on a s10 chassis 350 motor uh 700 r4 uh, got the leather interior in it air conditioning uh kind of hidden behind the dash panels there it's uh just a good cruiser truck uh and uh, doing wheel swap and a few things on it today. It's really uh, where it sits. Yeah. All right. So these are temporary rollers. You did have some some big old fat boys on there, right? Yeah. It had like a 15 by 10 in the rear and uh, some big wide tires, and changed the rear end to one with uh, disc brakes and needed a different tire setup on it. Cool. All right. And we're thinking. You think that rear end's got a 373 in it? Is that yeah. What we were thinking? Yeah. Sweet. All right, so it looks like we're gonna knock out a little change while we're at it. We got a little bit of exhaust work to do. Here's our new tire setup. Uh, four matching tires. Uh, a little bit larger on the rear. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so bigger in the rear, bigger in the front, but the same wheels. Same wheels, the so, rears are about an inch and a half taller, inch and a half wider. Okay, cool. So the plan on the wheels, uh, we ordered up some bare wheels and then just uh, wipe, the, wipe the cutting oil off of them or the machining oil off of them and uh set them out back and sprayed them with a water hose and so we want them to kind of patina like the rest of the truck everybody loves this truck i mean your dad's got some incredible cars mm -hmm. and it's funny because he'll park his like six-figure car next to this one and everybody comes over and wants to talk about your ratty old truck yeah they like yeah. it yeah yeah i spent a few miles in this truck matter of fact when my wife and i got married we drove away in this truck it had a 305 and a five speed at the time <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so uh but you've had it for almost 12 years almost 12 years okay yeah yeah because i mean we've been married 10 and you'd already had it for a little while at that point so cool all right well we uh we got to fix some muffler shop repairs yeah some that's been needed for about three years now yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it right we're gonna do some shit so all right let's get to work <laughs> Click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would like more content, follow social media at Cody Crafted on Instagram. All right, so the whole reason for this is, as usual with old school stuff, bent collector flanges. And so we're getting leakage all around this gasket. You can actually wiggle the gasket. I think right here's the worst. And uh, so the solution, where's your new parts at, Jace? So our solution we came up with is to go to ball and socket flanges. So the plan is to get these shorty boy flanges because we gotta make we gotta make this turn pretty quickly. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna cut the collector off right here. And then we're gonna weld this on. And then we've got our socket it goes here like this. We gotta make sure we put this on first. I think it'll be this one. This was going to be a reducer for, I think, the header side. I think we're going to have to reduce it down. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So we got to come up with some space here. <laughs> Ow. Because we ain't got a lot of real estate to work with. But either way, what we'll probably want to do is actually just come in with a, with a 90 on the header and then add our flange. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because that'll give us that tighter radius, kind of like you got here, yeah. but without the booger sharp point. All right. So we'll basically try to emulate this, uh, or at least maybe even a 45 and then something. Mm -hmm. So, and then we'll come over and then we'll, we'll try to come over and make sure we catch the Y pipe with a little smoother transition than that. And uh, knock it out on both sides. You 
need to clearance your floor. Yes. That's that's touched once or twice. It has. It? it was that way when I got the truck. The rear shocks were blown out and they were way shorter. They were not. Uh, Every time I would hit a dip, the truck would bottom, and yeah. so I did some work on the rear suspension. I don't think that's touched in quite a while. But okay, all right, well, that's good. Jason's inspecting plugs. Let's take a look. Pretty good. A little brown. But definitely not oily. Got a little valve cover schmutz on it, but other than that, I mean, really, you want them a little more tan. But how are you doing over here, G Man? Just working a boat. One more boat. Yeah, that one's looking good. I mean, you know, we ain't doing nitrous here, so. <laughs> Hypercritical, but yeah, looking good. Yeah, looking good. I mean, you can stick them back in if you want to. You want some anti seize on? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's top of the floor, All right, guys, so we got the exhaust off underneath. Uh, we need to change header gaskets because we feel like they're probably leaking. Also, got some cool split lock fasteners and cut ourselves. some tubing we're gonna make a transition from three inch to two and a half somewhere in this vicinity of this pipe uh, we do that on both sides uh, because our rest of our pipe is all two and a half inch um, but our headers are three inch and we don't have enough room to add the reducer and then make a turn uh, also I don't have the right bins here but I do have three inch bins so we're gonna add some essentially collector extension then make our reduction and make that happen. So, uh, we'll show you that here in just a sec. Let me see what you got. Put the ball over it. Put it on. Move on more. Uh, I mean, that's basically how it works. Yeah. Zip tie trick. So then, I mean, normally I'd wrap it around the both sides of zip tie so it kind of squeezes them separate. Yeah, well, it's kind of what you want is like uh, squeezing them in the middle. On that bracket right there. I mean, I guess I could have done that and then zip tied it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, cheap. yeah whatever. We've got plenty of success. Uh, okay, so, all right, team, we've got uh, header gaskets replaced. We saved you all the uh, bloody knuckles and pounding of chisels and grinding of wrenches. Yeah. But we got some 12-point uh, hardware going now with the little locking uh, Allen centers pretty cool I've had good luck with these we used them on some other projects like our 68 Camaro and uh, those headers haven't been coming loose so that's good um, we also threw in a fresh set of plugs we had the one that was all carbony looking and now we're just doing a little tidying on the zip ties Garrett's getting plug wires routing all purdied up and we're gonna raise this dude up and then do what we uh, originally intended to do we already got it all figured out. It's fine. It's fine. Also, we went to Mexican food and looked at our potential new shop. You want to start it up? Just, just hear it? Huh? I mean, you got to run open headers when you have the opportunity for just a second, right? your truck could be good to go send it car show ready car show ready in your uh, in your little craftsman home neighborhood it'll be great all right so garrett's got us all welded out Ta -da! and so we made a serviceable joint here at the mufflers with some butt clamps and uh get her done son Money, baby. Money. Let <coughs> slip this up. This right there. Yes, 
sir. All right, we're gonna bolt it up. While we had it up and down, Chase got his new wheels on. We had some big old fat like 295s on here before, and they just rubbed everywhere, and they looked cool, but man, they just really weren't practical. You couldn't get them off and on if you had a flat. You had to like jack the whole truck up and drip the suspension all the way down, and you had to sneak it in and out. It was a real pain in the butt. So this little bit narrower setup. What are these 275s? 265s. Yeah, the new wheel and tire package looks good, man. Give me a little rev. Hey, no more clicky clicky. Sounds great. I appreciate it. All right, guys, one more job down. We got to get back on that list. We're gonna call it a night. Thanks, guys. Hey, Thank you. Watch my wife's car. <laughs> Yeah, no rub either. All right, mission accomplished. Zip ties. All right, team, we've got the, uh... Why are you backing away from the camera, Jason? Why are you backing away? It's your truck. It's your truck, it's your video. Uh, okay, so...